Artificial intelligence is a very hot topic right now. You may have noticed a few of your Facebook friends updating their personal profile photos with these hyper stylized, almost fantasy or car cartoony depictions or versions of themselves. But this really got me thinking and got my creative wheels turning as a marketer, content creator, and a magazine publisher. How could we use AI to help us with our magazine publishing process? In this video, you're going to follow along as I try out for one of the very first times the Canva built-in artificial intelligence app. I want to see if we can use the Canva AI app to help us design a better magazine cover. Can the Canva robot out-design a photographer or a graphic designer when it comes to magazine publishing? Let's check it out. Okay, let's jump in and see if we can get the Canva AI to develop a or design a magazine cover for us. So I'm inside my Canva account. I'm just gonna go to create a design and I've already start, started to type in magazine. So I put MA and then this option came up magazine cover. So I'm just gonna select that as our background, our Canva background. Let me move my photo out of the way. Okay, and so normally what we would do if we were creating a magazine cover in Canva is we would come over to element elements or um, sorry design and we would look for magazine covers right and then we would find a template that we like I'm gonna use this one okay and um, instead of using the photos that are dropped in here I'm gonna take these out I'm gonna delete them out and we'll use the masthead and the side body copy for the magazine cover and instead what I'm going to do is just kind of check out the new Canva app called text to image so you'll find this if you haven't used it before you'll find this in your apps and you're gonna go under create something new text to image and then it's going to ask you, the robot, the, the artificial intelligence robot for Canva, is going to ask you to describe the image you want to see. Include objects, colors, locations, surroundings, and people. And they've got some inspiration here. And then you can select a style of the image that you want on your magazine cover. Some of the styles they've got, they've got a surprise. I guess that's like a wild card design. They've got photo, so it'll probably look more realistic drawing 3d painting pattern and concept art oh i don't know what let's let's just see what concept art is okay so i'm going to select concept art because that's kind of interesting and if we were just going to use a photo we could just go over to the photos um feature in canva and just upload a photo or select a photo to use so let's go with concept art to keep the robot on its feet so to speak and uh, okay so it says include objects colors locations surroundings and people all right so let's say that this magazine is a business magazine since that's just the template that we created and we are going to put let's put a um, business owner using their cell phone to take selfies <laughs> all right and because what I'm imagining in my mind is a business owner using their cell phone to take selfies to create content for their business to help them grow their business. And so maybe that could be one of the articles. It could be the cover story in this magazine. But let's just see what it does. Let's see what the AI rob robot generates for us using the text to image artificial intelligence feature now available inside Canva. Okay, so the, ro the robot, the AI robot is starting to do its magic here. And okay, so these are some interesting concepts. <laughs> I don't know if they'll make great magazine covers. Who knows? Let's see. Okay, okay. So it also says we're evolving this new technology with you. So please report these images if they don't seem right. Interesting. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's start at the top left and we'll drop this image in. And do we think... Um, do we think that the robot did a better job than what a photographer would do for our magazine cover? Okay, so I'm going to say no on this one. Um, I just don't think the facial features look exactly right. It looks a little disproportionate or unnatural. And also, I guess it's, it is technically, it could be a person taking a selfie, 
but it's not very evident. It's it, it it's not really super evident to me. I think we could hire a professional photographer to do a better job than the robot in this one. So I'm going to delete that option. Let's go down to the one here on the bottom left. Okay, so this is concept art. And this could be done by a graphic designer. I'm going to move this to the back so we get the masthead over it. And um, okay, so what if this was a different color? Would it would it change anything? Okay, so business. Um, that actually could be kind of cool as a concept art magazine cover. I'm a little surprised. Now, the one thing that I'm I'm not super in love with is this hand. Seems a little wonky, but I don't know if that's. I mean, that could just be creative expression, right? If you were going to hire a graphic designer or an artist to create your magazine cover for you. I guess technically it does look like a person, looks like a woman who is taking a selfie, I guess, if that was um, that was part of the instruction. So I'm going to leave that one. I don't know. I don't hate it. What do you think? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. What do you think about this AI generated art? Would you rather just hire a photographer would you rather just use the stock photos that are inside Canva or do you kind of like what this AI computer is generating? Okay, so here's our third option. And I, I don't really know what this is. It does look like a hand holding something. Maybe It looks like they're maybe holding an iPad, but it's not, based on the in, instructions that we gave it, it doesn't look like a business person and it doesn't look like they're holding a cell phone to take a selfie. So I, I don't know. I, I don't think this one is even usable. So I'm going to delete that one also. And we're left with that one option so far. And okay, so I'm going to use this this next option that they gave us. Let's see. I don't know. Uh, okay, so I guess technically, does this look like a person on an iPad? Is that what they're? Is that what the robot is serving us? Is a person on a, on an iPad? Let me move this to the back and see if it's even usable. I don't know. I don't think this one is usable. I don't I don't think that would make a great cover. It's a little busy. It's not very clear what the subject is. Usually magazine covers are better when they're clear what the subject is. It's simple. It doesn't have a lot of busyness around because we want to, to be able to have the text really stand out. So I don't really, of the four options, I don't like that one either. So I'm just going to, I'm going to say that the the second option of the four that it gave us is the most usable. I don't, I'm not hating this. I wish that the um, person in the image had a better expression, that they had a smile on their face. And I wish that the hand was a little more natural looking. It looks a little painful right now with the, with the shape of the fingers, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. What do you think about the Canva AI artificial intelligence designer that's no, now built in? Do you think we should go with it? Do you think we should start again, try another set in another video? Or do you think we should just hang up, call it quits, and just either use a stock photo, hire a photographer, or hire a designer? Let me know in a comment down below.